I'm going to answer the most frequently asked questions while playing a bass line that probably most musicians dislike a lot. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Sweden. I live in London, UK. Uh, I started playing cello when I, when I was uh, a very small kid. <laughs> it's so hard. <sighs> okay. I uh, was really hoping that I could be able to record and talk at the same time. That was my whole plan for this sort of Q&A video, but uh, greatly overestimated my skills in that. So we're just going to do it here instead and sit and have a little chat. I'm just going to go through everything starting from YouTube. So Ahmad Siafana asks, oh, by the way, before I even answer anything, I'm just going to butcher everyone's name and how you pronounce them. So uh, forgiveness in advance, okay? So Ahmad Siafana asks, with or without end pin stopper? And with or without end pin, I would definitely say. So if you who don't know what an end pin is, uh, this is an end pin where you lift up the cello. So I would definitely have end pin all the way. And stopper, he is probably, or she or he, is probably referring to the thing that's carrying the end pin at the ground. And I definitely need a stopper. Or I actually have a little leather strap that goes down. Ans, tak, what would be the simple advice for fellow admirer? So first of all, thank you so much. I'm very humbled that you even put me in that uh, position. Uh, just continue to stay awesome. Hopefully you continue to enjoy my videos and what I do. So uh, yeah, thank you. Just stay awesome. Dog or qua cat? Quat? Dog or cat? Ask Ikhumudian Muhammad. I would. Uh, this is a hard one. I would say dog. But I love cats. And cats seems to like me too. But I love dogs as well. Um, yeah, I have to pick dog or both. But dogs are adorable. I mean, as you know, I dog watch basically when I don't practice. What are you listening to in the lowest moments? The Wanderer asks. So that's a very deep question. I thankfully haven't had that many low moments in a while. But if I have a low moment, I usually don't actually listen to anything. I just try to do other things that will uh, make me process that or do stuff to alleviate the pain maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm not a sad song listener. I don't listen to that many so sad songs when I'm feeling down. Hamumi Ibitsiam. Hi, dear fellow. Hope you're fine. Thank you very much. I am. I hope you're doing well too. My question is, what are goals in this life and your desire for your future? Also, huge question. Uh, the short answer is that I wish to be able to do this recording playing for you guys, uh, creating some entertainment online uh, full time. Uh, that is my that is my dream uh, right now and goal. And like over overall, I just wish to be the best version of me as possible and learn cello as good as I can. And yeah, just have a good life with that and try to, you know, improve it as much as I can. Boris Andres Paredes Fernandez, again, I'm butchering names, I'm sorry. Name three of you defects that you hate the most. Uh, also, you guys are really good with the deep questions here. I would say, I mean, the classic interview answer, right, is to just say, oh, I'm too detail oriented or, <laughs> or I'm always, I'm always too early or, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, that's, I'm not going to answer. I'm, I'm going to try not to answer like that. A defect that I dislike with me is I don't learn. I want to learn music quicker. Um, that's one. I wish I could learn it quicker. It's, I'm learning it quite quick, but I I know colleagues and friends that can learn it even faster. So I, I don't know. It's maybe not the best answer. Second, I would say I'm a little bit all over the place with my sort of sleep schedule. So that's, I don't know, I sort of enjoy and love freedom a lot. So that benefits a lot to why I miss uh, going to bed when I don't go to bed in time and stuff. 
but I would say like the that's an, an organ, unorganized part of me that I dislike. Hate is a very strong word. I'm just going to say dislike. And the third one, I wish that I would have started this YouTube channel and Instagram sooner. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, but uh, finally just did it, collected myself to finally just do it. So I just shouldn't have waited that much. Why are you loving music? Uh, I'm going to rehash my answer here. Uh, and that is that I, as I said in the post, it's uh, it speaks emotions. Uh, it's an amazing tool to communicate with people. Everyone is feeling, right? Everyone can feel things. Yeah, that's what you know from birth even before languages. So that's why I think music is so powerful and also a beautiful art form that I have built up a skill in and had a very good start in. So I'm very fortunate to be able to do it like I'm doing here. So yeah, that's why I love music. And thanks for the hearts, uh, a name I can't read in Arabic. So over to the next one. So I have in my patron some questions as well from charlie smith who's a dear patron of mine and i really want to try and answer all his questions as well so charlie smith asks which musical work that you learned are you most proud of hmm. that's also a super hard question this i have a feeling this is going to be hard questions overall <laughs> overall <laughs> Um, I would say that the last suite in Bach, so the sixth suite, the prelude there, is the latest thing I'm quite proud of that I learned. It's not up to scratch now. I learned it a while ago, but uh, I would say that's a piece that I really enjoy and I'm proud of. I managed to learn it because the technicality of that piece is really hard to do. Uh, what piece of music would you perform if you had to audition? So the audition process, it's a very lengthy explanation, but um, the short answer is that they usually have uh, auditions. So like for orchestras, I assume, because that's what I would audition to or have auditioned to before. They have obligatory pieces first. So that's usually Haydn D cello concerto. And on top of that, a romantic concerto. So I would then play uh, Schumann cello concerto, the first movement usually. And then on top of that, they also have all the orchestra excerpt pieces, so which is probably the most important thing to learn. But that is what you I would prepare. So this is this is auditions for me in my world. I don't I wouldn't pick uh, my favorite sort of piece, so to say. Um, but yeah, I hope that answers the question, Charlie. Do you play in an orchestra? Play chair music or teach cello? So I am. Uh, I played in uh, several orchestras. And I also done a lot of chamber music. I don't have anything active right now because unfortunately the situation that we have in the world when I'm filming this, but teaching is uh, sort of my bread and butter now. Uh, cello teaching is sort of uh, something I think hopefully most uh, musicians do. Um, it sort of belongs to the craft to be able to teach your instrument as well. So that's what, uh, that's kind of, how I earn money and my income at the moment. If not, I would play in orchestras and freelance as much as I could. But now when I'm starting this up and doing YouTube uh, a lot, that is taking a lot of time, but I'm enjoying it. So that's why I'm doing it. Uh, what are some of your musical and non-musical guilty pleasures? <laughs> my guilty pleasure in sort of musical and non-musical. So my musical guilty pleasure would be that I I play pieces without practicing them. So I'm just playing them because I like them and therefore I'm wasting time and should actually be practicing them and improving them and not only, you know, <laughs> wasting time and just thinking that it sounds great. That's a guilty pleasure of mine. Non-musical guilty pleasures. I would say I have a coffee machine and I love doing uh, cappuccinos. That's a guilty pleasure. I do love snacking. Snacks are the best thing in the world. And uh, I'm a little bit lazy. I don't work out as much as I used to do before because I'm letting this take over my life. <laughs> but I should, I should work out more. But yeah, I would call that a guilty pleasure. Would you share any insights into your musical future? Well, 
I would say without even, I, I am rehashing myself a little bit, um, but it's such a broad thing. Part of me wants to, obviously loves to play an orchestra. The road to get into an orchestra is really tough and really hard and is something I obviously will continue to pursue. But at the same time, I also love doing this. So that's why I've been starting to build this thing we that we've built now. Um, but of course, at the same time, improve my cello playing, improve my musicianship, become a better cello teacher. Uh, yeah, the general thing. I hope that explains it. Okay, over to the biggest one. Over to the post itself. Let's see. Okay, so this will be a little bit, I have to surface through it. I want you to say, okay, so Taris Sasselviani. I wanted to say something in Swedish accent. Tell us in a snap, okay? So I don't have Snapchat if you refer to that, but I can speak a little bit more like English Swedish accent like this, if you want to, uh, which is quite, I mean, the most beautiful accent I would say in the world. Eller så går jag över bara på svenska. But you wouldn't understand that. <laughs> so there you go. So Mewish196, asks cello and why cello and not any other musical instruments. I did play other musical instruments. I played piano and guitar. Uh, piano, I just, my parents were really generous and gave me lessons both in cello and piano when I was younger. And uh, piano was, I sort of like, lost a little bit of interest in piano. Cello was always there, I always kept it alive. Guitar, I just learned to, to be able to pick up ladies basically. <laughs> uh, guitar, I only picked up to learn to play to just uh, as a bragging instrument for friends and uh, the ladies out there. Uh, but when I outgrew that, and I realized that year 15, when I was 15 years old, I can't speak, uh, that I wanted to pursue cello. Okay, so Kensa9935 wrote a lot of questions. So I'm just going to speed ride them through because I don't want to take this video to become such a too long one. I have a lot of questions. What did you study in the university? I studied cello playing uh, and to become a musician. Uh, why do you play cello and not any other instrument? I already answered that. Tell us what your story with music. Uh, that's a very broad one. My story with music is uh, I come from a very musical family, always had it in my life, and yeah, that's it. Tell us a story with music. Why are you living in London? I uh, already answered that one in my post, because London, education, culture, and the work opportunities. Are you in a relationship with a girl? Yes. Do you think that love is more important than friendship, and why? Uh, I would say both are super important, because you love your friends, and... Uh, whoever partner you have. So I would say both. Do you miss your childhood? Uh, no, but I miss not having the responsibilities. But at the same time, now when I'm a grown up, I am freer. So cancels each other out. Do you miss your child? Where it said that? Why are you so calm? <laughs> Thank you for thinking that. I think uh, by going through things and challenging yourself a lot and truly knowing yourself, that by challenging yourself, putting yourself out there, and that is a very scary thing to do. You sort of do collect uh, understanding of yourself and what you can do. That does help to create calmness, maybe, if you think that I'm calm. So, thank you. Why is it calm? What do you do in life? I mean, what's your job? Uh, I mainly teach cello and gig. Cello, but now I'm mainly teaching. What is your biggest dream and fear? Dream is to, as I said, build this page. Fear is to not succeed, I think. And to not and end up doing something I don't enjoy doing full time. <laughs> Which country do you love the most in this world? Uh, I mean, I have to say Sweden in a way, but I also like UK since I live here. Country want to visit? I want to visit all of the countries you guys are from. I mean, everything, uh, I mean, it's all over the place, but truly, I just, I would love to travel, but uh, economy and me doing this doesn't allow that now. 
Do you love to learn languages? Uh, of course, I would love to, but I don't have any time. What is the best job in the world to become to be a musician for me? Did you realize your dream or not yet? Um, I mean, dreams change this all the time, so I already said mine. Do you have brothers or sister? I have an older sister. Do you read books? I should read more books. Uh, I don't read as many books. What is your favorite book and why? Uh, that is a good one. I mean, I like uh, George Orwell, Animal Farm. Classic. What is your favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> there's many faces of this. <laughs> My favorite movie would be... I mean, I have to say Fantastic Mr. Fox. What is your favorite song? I'm a big John Mayer fan. I like a lot of his songs. What's your favorite if it's not classical? Do you cook? Yes, I love cooking. And what's your favorite food? I would say... This week I'm feeling pasta carbonara. I like pasta carbonara. On to the next one. Scroll, scroll. 9802ANN. If music is an unwritten emotion, then what else moves you? I would say friendship, love. Things that speak emotion moves me. And yeah, I hope that reply that answers the question. Matty Somali, what motivated you to follow the path of music and what is the thing you like more what you do? So I already do what I love the most and that is to be a musician. What motivated you to follow the path of music? I just dream, I just wish to, I don't know, I have an urge to do, do something different and try to create something in this world and do something that has a meaning to other people that answers it. And also, of course, it's, it's amazing to be able to gather an audience and create something that they love. I mean, that is YouTube in a nutshell. Can you please create a never ending video YouTube so I can listen forever? Uh, yeah, maybe that's a good suggestion. Ka Dija said that and yeah, I might glory evil. I have two questions. One, have you been in any band? Yes, many bands. I, it's no point in me calculating or like recounting all of them, but like, you know, orchestras, chamber music groups and stuff, both in school and university. Oh, tell us about it. <laughs> Do you have a music creation of yours and any song that you have created with music and lyrics? I haven't created any song with music and lyrics. Uh, um, I've only written assignments when I was at school. Um, composition is not any, it's something I love at the moment. It's a very length. I mean, arranging is kind of a, it's kind of that. And that's what the extent of it as I do right now. I feel like I should tell, I mean, I can tell you a little about my music bands, I guess. So, nah, I mean, there's, there's not much more to say than I just played in orchestras and loved it. And I've been like youth orchestras and stuff. They're, it's hilarious. It's awesome. You just play music with your mates and have a good time. Irfan Karaj, hey man, uh, do you see yourself in 10 years from now? What's your dream? Yeah, uh, so I, I'm i just going to answer the 10 years from now question, which is also a good variant. To be a successful performer either here on YouTube or on stage, hopefully both, and also a good teacher. How many countries have you visited? Uh, Rena, Rena. Anna Khaled. So she's the one that helped um, translate everything to Arabic in the subtitles. And she's going to laugh that I can't pronounce her name correctly. Uh, how many countries uh, have you visited? Do you play any other musical instruments? Uh, I have visited a lot of countries. Uh, I've been very fortunate having parents that traveled a lot when I was younger. I mean, a lot of kids, me, been in the uh, United States a lot, uh, Spain, uh, Turkey, Egypt. I haven't been much to Asia. I would love to go. It's just so far, you know. France, Germany, a lot of the European countries, not much. Uh, I haven't been to Russia ever. Uh, I've been to Holland. Uh, I hope that answers it. Zori, Zori Manel, can you teach me playing cello? Yes, I can. Uh, I do teach online, but I think I'm going to create a Patreon 
level where you can pay for lessons if you wish to. Sula Khan, have you ever fallen in love? Of course. It's cello. <laughs> uh, serious note, yes, of course. I hope you guys don't think I have a heart of stone. So one call a boon, so final questions. It also has an adorable dog. Asks, uh, how old is your beautiful cello? And my cello is a typical musician's instrument. It's not marked, so it doesn't, it doesn't, we don't know the origin of it. It's definitely at least 100 years old, that I know for sure. But I unfortunately don't know. I'm just very lucky and thankful that I have on one. So I think that summarizes it. Hang on, I'm still recording. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that summarizes it. Thank you so much for sticking through the whole video, uh, watching me stumble across all the questions. Special thank you to my patrons that contribute to me directly like this. Uh, also do just play all my videos if, if you want to help me out in another way or hopefully just enjoy them. So like check out the playlists. I'm going to put them here. Uh, do uh, also subscribe everywhere, like follow me on my music channels that um, and stream my music is also an amazing way for you to contribute to uh, my future with this and obviously if you enjoy it, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Again, thank you. You guys rock. Thanks for letting me do this and that you are watching. That's really all I can ask for in a way. See you in the next video.